This is a short video to explain how the differences in autistic and non-autistic facial expressions may lead to less successful social interactions. This is Joe. He is autistic. And this is his friend Mike. He is not autistic. Joe and Mike typically produce different facial expressions because one of them is autistic and the other is not. When Joe feels sad, he makes an expression that looks a bit like this. And when Mike is sad, he typically makes this slightly different expression. Therefore, Joe and Mike's faces may be essentially speaking a different language when it comes to conveying sadness. As a result, when Joe is sad, Mike might struggle to recognise Joe's sadness and conversely, when Mike is sad, Joe might struggle to recognise Mike's sadness. And this difficulty in reading the facial expression of the other person could lead to less successful social interactions or even social difficulties. To give an example, imagine that Joe and Mike are both feeling upset about something and Mike feels like he really, really needs a hug. Joe asks Mike how he is and Mike responds saying that he's fine, even though he isn't, and then asks Joe how he is. Joe responds that he's fine and then says goodbye. Since Joe and Mike struggle to read each other's expressions, they don't realise that the other person is sad. As a result, they don't support or comfort each other and are left feeling a little bit let down by the other person. This is just one basic example of how difficulties reading someone's facial expression could lead to responses that are not socially advantageous. In summary, Autistic and non-autistic people produce different facial expressions and so their faces may be essentially speaking a different language and therefore they may struggle to read each other's expressions and this could lead to less successful social interactions.